Welcome to MAT 2LB, booklet number 8, fractions, lesson number 5, adding and subtracting fractions, change 1 denominator. So this is our third lesson on adding and subtracting fractions. The first one, we were adding and subtracting fractions with the same denominator, where we just kept the denominator, added the numerators, or subtracted the numerators. In the second lesson, we talked about changing the denominators, which meant that the dom denominator didn't start out being the same. We had to change both of them. Today we're going to look at a scenario where we're going to only be changing one denominator. And the tool that we need to have at our disposal to do that is skip counting. Now hopefully you'll remember skip counting from grade 9 math. If you don't, I've just drawn some hands on the side of our note and here we can just quickly review them. If you remember that skip counting, we use our hands and we pick a particular number to start at and from there we skip count up through the five digits on our hand. So if you look at this hand over here that I've drawn, if we're skip counting by twos, we start on the first finger and count two, four, six, eight, ten, and that's skip counting by twos. Underneath it we have a little hand drawn here. We're going to skip count by threes, that's three, six, nine, twelve, fifteen. Underneath that, skip counting by fours, where we start again at our first finger here with four, eight, twelve, sixteen, twenty, and the last hand here, skip counting by fives, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. Now we could skip count by six or seven or any number really, but these are the ones that we focused on most in grade nine, and those will be most of the ones that we're going to be using in today's lesson. So without further ado, let's get to example one. Example 1 says add or subtract the following fractions with different denominators. So we're looking at 1 third plus 3 sixths. And first question we want to ask ourselves, are our denominators the same? They are not. One is a 3 and one is a 6. So we're going to go to the first step in this process, which is to see if the smaller of our two denominators can skip count evenly into the larger. So in this case, we're wondering if we can skip count by 3 to get up to 6. So let's start. 3, 6, okay, so we can make it to 6 in skip counting 3's. Now we want to figure out exactly how many times we had to skip count to get there. So let's just look at how many fingers we touched. 3 and 6 right there, so that's going to be 2, and that is going to go in this space right here. This tells us how many times we had to skip count to get from 3 to 6. Next step is to take the smaller fraction or rather the fraction with the smaller denominator and multiply its numerator and denominator by that number we found when we were skip counting, in this case 2. The next line is to rewrite, doing the mathematics, so 2 times 1 is 2, 2 times 3 is 6, plus 3 over 6, you'll notice that now our denominators are the same, and we didn't have to change the second uh, fraction at all. And now we're going to add these. We keep our denominator, that's a 6, and we add our two numerators to get us 5. So the answer to this one is going to be 5 sixths, or 5 over 6. Let's try the next example together as well. We're going to add or subtract the following fractions with different denominators. Let's zoom in and have a look. We have 7 over 8 minus 1 over 2. Are our denominators the same? They are not. So our first step is to see if the smaller of the two denominators skip counts evenly into the larger. So we're going to be skip counting by 2 this time. So let's start skip counting. 2, 4, 6, 8. So there's 8 right there. Let's see how many times we had to skip count from 2 to get to 8. That's 1, 2, 3, 4 right there. So 4 skip counts. That's what we're going to write in. Our next step is to take the fraction with the smallest denominator and multiply its numerator and denominator by 4, the number that we skip counted to. The next step, rewrite and do the mathematics. So we have 7 over 8 minus 1 times 4 is 4, and 2 times 4 is 8. Our denominators are now the same. We keep the denominator, subtract the numerators. That gives us 3 over 8. So that's example two. Let's try example A here together, and then we'll leave you guys to try B on your own. So here we have three over four minus two over 12. Are our denominators the same? They are not. So we wanna see if we can skip count from the smaller denominator to the larger denominator evenly. So we're gonna be skip counting by four. Let's do that now. Four, eight, 12. Well, there we are. So we did make it to 12. How many 
skip counts that we need to get there. One, two, three. So we needed three skip counts to get there. I'm just going to put that three there so I remember it. The next line is to rewrite the fraction with the smaller denominator. That's 3 over 4 minus 2 over 12. And we are going to multiply the numerator and denominator of the one with the smaller denominator. That's our first fraction by 3, the number of uh, skip counts we needed. And now next step is to rewrite and do the mathematics. So 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 4 is 12 minus 2 over 12. Good. Our denominators are now the same. We didn't have to change that second fraction at all. So we're going to keep our denominator and do the mathematics on our numerator. So 9 minus 2 gives us 7 over 12. And that is our first example. So what I'd like you to do now is hit pause on the video and I'd like you to try B on your own. So give B a try. Work it through to an answer. When you've got an answer, come on back and we'll see how you did. All right, you're back. Let's have a look here. First question, are our denominators the same? They are not. We want to know then if we can skip count from 4 to 8 evenly. So we're going to be skip counting by 4. Let's do that now. 4, 8. Oh, there it is. Now, how many skip counts did we need to do to get to 8 from 4? So we went 1, oops, I want the highlighter, 1, 2, and there it is. So our skip count number is going to be 2. I'll write that here so don't forget it. Next step is to rewrite. We have 3 over 8 plus 2 over 4, and we take that fraction with the smaller denominator and multiply its numerator and denominator by 2, our skip count number. Next step, do the mathematics. We've got 3 over 8 plus 4 over 8. And now our denominators are the same, so we're going to keep our denominator, and we are going to add our numerators, which will get us to 7 eighths. And that's the end of lesson number 5. A few new steps in here. If you need to, go back and look through some of the parts of the lesson if you need some clarification. Otherwise, head off to the worksheet, and I'll see you in lesson number 6.